So, they mentioned the pre-polls. That's where I was today. And I didn't ask them which way they were voting, but why. When did you make your decision? Oh, probably when I was 18 years old. <laughs> Does that help you? <laughs> You've been one way the whole way? Yeah, I don't change my mind. Um, look, the person I voted for, I've always voted for that party, so I knew. I always know every election, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're the yeah same? I'm the same. Yeah. Well, I, look, back in the day, years and years ago, look, I voted Labor, you know, but, um, you know, just not now, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. So what was it about, uh, um, what, what are the issues that made you help mm. decide which way you go? Cost of living, the main one yeah. in the area. The things that mattered to me, I kind of went with that. So, like, community was, like, number one for me. And, yeah, cost of living was, like, very close after that. Issues-wise, what, what, what makes you vote the way that you vote? Uh, I think I voted for people that supported our local area, like Frankston. Um, uh, that, that was the one thing that caught my eye. Mm. Oh, definitely the cost of living. That's across. Everyone's aware of affecting everyone. So if that got better, then, yeah, that's what I'd like to say. Do you believe that there's one side more than the other that's got an answer for that? Oh, I think everyone's trying to probably come up with an answer. I don't think anyone has the right answer necessarily. I think it's something we'll figure out as we go along and as it evolves. People are sick of governments, councils, whoever, just telling them what to do. What's the most important thing that you think is about Dunkley, about what you would like to see come out of the election regardless of who wins? Um, that everyone's working together. I think that's more important than anything else.